it is the first official Monday day after daylight savings. The clocks have gone ahead and I am feeling it, friends. Welcome to a week in my life as an archivist. I haven't done a week in my life since we've moved into our new apartment because I've been getting into my routine and settling in. And now that we have this time jump and spring is on its way, the past two weeks have been rocky and off routine for me. And I just really wanna use this week to get back on track, as they say, to get back into routines and habits and just feel like life is kind of normal again. I am off to work. I'm gonna get coffee first. Welcome to the ride. <laughs> I have all these fragmented to-do lists and brain dumps from the past few weeks that's how scatterbrained and just chaotic my work and life has been the past few weeks so I want to compile them all into one running to-do list to get back on track with all the stuff that I need to work on also I'm pleasantly surprised I don't have a ton of emails sitting in my inbox I've been really overwhelmed with my emails I just felt like I couldn't catch up for a while so I feel like I'm at peace right now and which is a great feeling but I'm also second-guessing myself like is this really is it really this slow like is there really no a million emails in my inbox I'm trying to reconcile with the fact that I have space to organize and get back into projects that have been falling off the wayside so let's make my new running to-do list I ended up making a, I don't know what you call this, <laughs> a to-do list, but like written out into little sections because that helps my brain. So I started out in this like Hobonichi Weeks dupe. And on this side, I put kind of the main buckets that I need to focus on this week. And then I transferred that onto just a plain piece of paper to help figure out what tasks need to go under each of those areas. So collections management's a major part of being an archivist that's just managing, <laughs> accessioning, processing, delegating projects all around collections. Research requests are always something I need to work on and <laughs> never want to work on. But just updated like our website. We went, moved to a new domain. We got new email addresses. That's been ongoing for <laughs> like three months now. Uh, so there's always some lingering tasks that we need to do. So I actually just banged out about 45 minutes worth of getting some tasks done for that. So I feel like I'm at least caught up on website stuff. So now it's like, choose your adventure. What do I want to work on now? Spacer for the box. The 
this lighting is not forgiving. I am home. I dipped out of the office a little bit early because I didn't pack a lunch strategically so I could leave early, got some food, <clears throat> and now I'm just finishing up my work day at home, doing some computer <laughs> spreadsheet work, and then I need to go to the grocery store tonight because Sundays I usually try to go to the grocery store, but if I don't want to go to the grocery store on Sundays, it falls onto Mondays and we need food. <laughs> so I need to do that this evening. It is raining, which is not fun. So gloomy. I am so ready for like spring and sunshine, guys. Yeah, after work, I want to move into my like evening routine and setting up for the rest of the week with like making food for lunches. I want to wash my hair, take a nice little shower, and then just like end the day with my little creative routine, which I'll talk about later. And that's kind of the day. So I'm gonna continue with my spreadsheeting and we'll check in later. <laughs> The comfort of daily chores and taking care of ourselves. It's been a productive day at work, but my allergies are kicking my butt and daylight savings time change is kicking my butt. I just wanna go crawl into bed and <laughs> come out on the other side feeling like I did pre-clock turning. It's such a weird like period of time and really we are literally going through a transition because we had like the end of the year and new years and i feel like i just set my 2023 goals <laughs> a few weeks ago but it's been over three months now and i worked so hard on establishing routines and habits around like fitness and drawing and just like making food and meal prepping that now with a sudden hour ahead clock change, I feel like I have to reestablish them all, which is kind of annoying because why do we have to move the clocks ahead? So yesterday I didn't end up meal prepping, so today, tonight I need to meal prep. So I'm just making some stir fry. I want to get back to feeling like everything is routine and expected and comfortable and safe. So one of the ways that I'm trying to get back into doing that is just cooking and cleaning dishes, so let's go do that. <laughs> Nothing is ever lasting, no. 
It's another cold, windy, gloomy <laughs> day. We're supposed to get sunshine tomorrow, crossing fingers. Today I finally feel like I'm getting back into <laughs> a normal sleep schedule and a morning routine. I wanna carry that in to the rest of my day and this evening. I have not done any creative time at night this week because I've come home and I'm just exhausted or I need to do something like take a shower, which takes an hour, make dinner or like meal prep, which I did last night. So tonight I really wanna make an effort to show up to my sketchbook. Also, I've been trying to edit this video along the way. When I do these like week in a life videos, trying to keep on top of the editing on a daily basis is kind of the, the best strategy than waiting till the last minute, which I usually do for a lot of my videos. The other thing I've been trying to get back into is just exercise in the morning, which has been an ongoing <laughs> habit making process and February I really kind of nailed a morning routine and exercising in the morning and felt the benefits of that so much. Just would be so productive at work, I'd be a lot happier, like all the things science tells you about working out in the morning, I was feeling it and it definitely gave me the motivation to continue doing that. Once I had my health issues come up, dizziness and ear issues it just kind of fell off and then I got my period and fell off even more so this morning I did a like 10 minute pajama at home workout from Monica Fit which I've been loving doing those in the morning when I am like have a busy day but want to get some kind of movement in. George and I were trying to go to the gym in the morning around like 7 30 and that was working out again for a few weeks but <laughs> fell off that so we're trying to get back into that. George wants to go to the gym tonight. I don't know if that's going to happen with my work schedule. I have like meetings today and I might come home late and by the time I get home I'm so tired that I don't really want to do exercise. That's why exercising in the morning definitely works better for me just to get it out of the way and that I don't have to think about it anymore. Like I said work in progress. We are working on our habits. Let me know if you're working on any routines or habits right now with this new season that we're heading into because we all need each other's support. Anywho, I'm off to work. Like I said, busy day, meetings, stuff to do, so there probably won't be much vlogging, but I'm going to come home tonight and do creative stuff. We're doing it.
my goal is to work on research client requests and make progress. That is my safe lofty goal for today. Thursday, it's my last day at my main job, main gig. We're so focused on like getting through backlog and collections management focused. A lot of other things, meetings, other projects that we're working on that I don't have much time to work on client requests as I used to. And it takes a certain amount of energy and focus. I've been finding it really hard to find the time and focus. I need like long periods of time, blocks, hour chunks to get stuff done in terms of research requests. So I did my collection stuff this morning, as you saw. Update on my little brain dump to-do list. We've made a lot of progress this week. As you will see, I need to do research requests. Let's do it. <laughs> didn't have any luck with my first request of the day. That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sometimes the records you are looking for, the information, the family member you're looking for is not in the record book, so we must move on. So it's on to the next request, which is a marriage record that took place between 1801 and 1803. This is the record book I'm going to be looking at. It's very old, very fragile, beautiful script. Let's see what we can find. It is time for me to go home. It's been a productive day, although my energy has been not as high as it was earlier this week, giving time change and allergies and everything else happening. <laughs> Overall, I feel like I made progress on research requests and got some lingering ones that have been <laughs> just being pushed for weeks and weeks and weeks and close those loops, which always feels really good. Now, as we transition into home, I am excited because at six o'clock, I have a live Discord chat with Allie inside her Patreon group. I've never done a Discord live chat, so it'll be interesting. And I will try and show you guys how that goes. And then I have therapy at 6.30, which is very much needed as lots of things have been happening in the past two weeks since my last appointment. So I feel like I'm gonna just have a good reflection and recap and much needed mental health check-in tonight. And then kind of like my Thursday evening routine is always editing my YouTube video to get up on Friday, but I'm debating putting it up tomorrow or putting it up Saturday. I really wanna just get it done, put it up tomorrow, but I don't know how editing is going to go because I do work tomorrow. And sometimes it's just easier to stick to your schedule and let that be your decision maker. And so let's go home. Goodbye work. <laughs> Since the new year, is there anything exciting?
happen. Then for warmer weather and longer days and like creating new routines. Happy Friday, friends, and welcome to the end of the video. It's officially Friday. It's time for me to leave, to start my weekend. As I reflect on the past week, I'm very proud of myself for how I showed up for my habits in small ways because we can't just go all in and get back to routines when we are starting from square one. So I feel like I've set myself up for next week to really get back and continue building on my habits and everything. George and I went to the gym <laughs> today, so I'm happy we did that. But life is a work in progress. Your life, my life, everything we're doing is a work in progress. And I'm really working on my all or nothing <laughs> like mindset around goals and just how I operate in life. So if you can relate, let me know because it's definitely a journey in itself. But yeah, I'm ready to go home. Thank you for being here for this week in my life. I am excited to go home and edit it and get it up for you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.